ready to add a login feature to your social network in Wix? Well, if so, my name is Michael Patrick Strauch, and I'm bringing you part two of our 12 Days of Christmas Building a Social Network in Wix series. So we're actually on part 11 of the series, but part two of the 12 Days of Christmas. Last video, which was yesterday, I announced that I would be presenting to you guys a early Christmas present and giving you 12 new parts of building a social network in Wix, the non-coding founder's guide as my Christmas gift to you. So just for that, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already so you don't miss a single one of these uploads over the next 12 days because they are going to be extremely value filled. And drop a like down below if you've liked this series so far and comment what you've enjoyed and what you're looking forward to so that way I know how to curate my content for the next few days over this series. But without further ado, let's hop into it. Also, if you haven't already, head over to wixtrainacademy.com. Click Academy to access the code we use in today's video. All right, guys. So we're here in our social network that we've been building out. Again, there's not true home page design yet. I'm showing you more the back end functionality of things before we add some of the aesthetic feel. Uh, we have added aesthetic feel to the uh, profile page and even the my account page. But today, what I wanted to do was do something that's a little... Um, well, really, what should have been accomplished a little earlier on, but there was a few components we needed to fill in in the social network building to get done before we added this, which is the login feature. So we created a register feature, how people register for their account on the social network. Now we need a way for them to log in. So here's how it's going to go. There's two ways you could technically go about doing this, um, and I'm going to show you. One has a little bit more customization and versatility over where you send them. The other one does not. So there's this members card, the uh, member uh, like notification bar that I showed you at the end of yesterday, or excuse me, at the end of last week's video and how I showed you how to edit a profile page in your social network. From this bar, if we go to preview, you can see that people have the ability to click the drop down and they can click my account or log out. That option will also be available if I click log out. Again, we're in the profile or the preview mode, so it doesn't let me log out unless I'm on publish. But if I log out, it would say log in right there. So that's the first method. And what would happen is when you click log in, it would take you right here to the my account page, just like this. And this is where it would take you to once you log in. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the uh, custom login light box, which you can use to redirect that user to any page after login. I am also going to send the user to this My Account page in the video, but I'm going to show you how that can be altered and changed from the light box, but not from this uh, profile navigation bar here. So it cannot be accomplished from this, but it can be accomplished from the light box. So if we go back and I go back to editor, um, what we're going to do is I already added a little login button here. Uh, what we would do is we'd come in here, we'd go to menu pages, we'd go to Lightbox. Also, alert, this applies to pages too. So if you'd prefer to build a uh, login or registration page, this exact same process applies. You use the exact same code and you use the exact same elements. The difference is, instead of designing a light box, you design a page. I've gotten a lot of questions asked about that. So there's no need to uh, confuse the two. They're not two different ones. It's the same exact functionality, same exact concept, same exact process, but a different page instead of a light box. I'm going to use the light box in this example because that's what I've done in all of my recent videos to show you how to use the light box method. So that's how I'm going to deliver it to you. So I've already gone in here and created my light box. Okay. So what I did so I could recap to show you how to add the light box features is first I went in here to add over on the left hand side. Once I got into add, I simply scrolled down to light box. I picked a random light box on here. I believe I picked this one right here. And then when I did that, I had this all appear. And then I just deleted that content in the middle and added a box. Now, after you add the box, again, the aesthetics, the design of your light box 
really does not matter. That comes down to your preference, how you want it designed. What I want to show you is adding this functionality right here, adding these components, because this is the important part. So after I added the box, added the uh, aesthetics, you know, add this little logo, align the little login text, what I needed to do was I needed to add input fields that allowed my user to actually log in, just like the registration back in part, man, I want to say maybe that was part four or part five. I think that's when we covered the registration part of building a social network. It's the exact, literally the exact same concept, except we change one word in the code from register to log in. And it's literally that exact same process. So what we do is we go into add over here and then we have to make sure our Wix code tools are activated. So we'd come up here to code and make sure developer tools are on. You can see they're on right now because it says turn off developer tools. If they're not, it would be a blue button say turn on. You make sure they're on so that way you get access to these. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to user input and you add any one of these text input fields up here. So I just added, uh, I believe I added just this level of education one. Yep. Just like that. Now I'm not going to add another one, but what I did was I added that one and then just copy and pasted it for the password. Once I did that, if we double click the input that we just added, you're going to make a few alterations and I'll show you first things first, you're going to want to change the placeholder text to one email because they need their email and their password to actually log in. So you're going to want to change the placeholder text to email and you're going to want to change the type up here to email as well. So that's all you have to do and you have to make that a required field obviously because the user needs that in order to log in and then you're set for that user input. Then again, you just copy and paste it down and then what you're going to do is you're going to click settings again. This time you're going to change the placeholder text to password. Okay. So you're going to change it to password instead of email and you're going to change the type to password by changing the type to password. It does the little radio dots, the black little radio dots. So it blurs out the password as you're typing it and it registers as a password when the user clicks log in. So that way it, pulls from the Wix CRM data to make sure that corresponds with the same uh, information you use to register. And then again, make sure that is a required field right here where it says required. So that way your user can actually log in because if they don't put a password, they're not going to be able to log in. They need to use the same username and password, excuse me, email and password they created when they registered for their account. After that is done, I added just a button. So I went to add and then I came down here to button and then I just added a button. It does not matter what kind of button you add. What matters is that we have it connected here. And what happens is, is we don't actually physically connect it to the data because now I'm going to show you the next part of this, which is the coding part. So we don't actually have to physically connect any of these fields to any data quite yet because we're going to do it through the code. So now to open up the code and this is where the button comes into play as well. We're going to just click down here. You'll see the page code manager. You'll click open and then my code is already in here. So you can go to the Wix training Academy and then log into your account or sign up for account by going to Academy free account and entering your details literally the same process that I'm building out for you here. If you're logging in or if you're registering same process that we use in the registration and then you're going to see a little tab on your dashboard page under your profile card that says code snippets and you could go in there and get the login code and that's the same code we use in this video. Now if you want to replicate me exactly and use the same uh, field names that I use here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open tools and you're going to want to open uh, properties panel and you're going to want to make sure you can see when I click on this the little hashtag right here hashtag login email that's managed by this ID up here so whatever you put into the ID up here is what this little hashtag is going to be these hashtags correspond to the code this is how the code identifies which fields are what and what it's submitting 
So if you want to be exactly like my login feature, which I would recommend, it's easiest. You want your email to say login email. Always make sure the second word is capitalized. The first letter of the second word is capitalized. So login email for password, it's just login password. And then for the button, it's just login now. And if you use those same exact ID names in your fields, then you don't even have to change a single bit of code in here other than this Wix location too. So now that we have the code open, you can see that everything is all set and you can see that this login now. So if you see S dollar sign W dot on ready function, and then you'll see hashtag login now. So this is an on click function for this button. And what happens is it pretty much says when this button is clicked, let email login email, whatever you name that field right there is what's going to go right here. And then when login password, again, whatever you name that password field, that ID is going to go right there. When those are filled out with dot value, the values that were entered in there, it prompts Wix users to dot log in. So instead of dot register like we used in the registration tutorial, they're going to log in instead of register. And it says then go to Wix location dot two. And this is where you send them to whatever page you want. So this is when that customization comes in when you get to pick where your user goes. So in the profile card that I showed you up here, it only goes straight to the my account page. But when you do a custom login light box, you have control over where your user goes. So technically speaking, you can redirect them to their profile page directly from this light box. In this video, I'm going to show you how to direct them to the my account page, just like the my that uh, notification button does that little notification bar with your name at the top would redirect your my account. In order for you to do that, it would be backslash account backslash my account. Let me show you how I found this little piece of page code. So it shows where to go. First off, it's always going to be, uh, excuse me, a forward slash here. The first uh, little character after our um, quotation marks here, our error marks, is going to be a forward slash. This designates that it's a page on your website. So that's the first things first. Next, we have to figure out what page we're assigning that to. The way we do that is we go in here to our pages and then we determine what page we want them to go to. In my case, I want them to go to the My Account page. So we're going to click on these three little dots and then we're going to click on SEO Google. Once you do that, it will pull up right here what's the page URL. So in this case, you can see it has forward slash account forward slash my dash account. That is the page extension. You don't put your full URL in here. You put the page extension. The code recognizes what URL it is assigned to. So it recognizes what website and domain name it is because Wix is hosting it. You need to put the page extension. So you need to put that after whatever's after the URL, that forward slash and whatever that is. That's what you need to put in those little uh, error marks in the code. That's the page it goes to. Again, in my case, I'm sending them to the profile, the my account page. So it's forward slash account, forward slash my dash account. And if we go back to the code, we can see if I pull the light box back up, login light box, it's forward slash right here. I'll highlight it for you. Forward slash account forward slash my dash account and that's the page extension so what happens is after the user inputs their email inputs their password and clicks that button as soon as that button is clicked that login now button it will redirect them to their my account page which will log them in and once that happens they have access to then update their profile. We've seen the My Account page. We built that not in the last video, not yesterday's, but last week's video. And we showed I showed you how to add the My Account page, how to add the edit, the profile, all that good stuff. So now that is how you add 
a custom login feature for your social network. I gave you two methods there. You can use either the straightforward, just Wix's pre-made members area login button that takes them directly to their my account page and only my account page, or you can build your own custom login feature here with a light box or a page, but have customization over where the user goes once they click login instead of only going to the my account page. So you can have them go to the profile page as well. So now that we've got that done and the code is set, let's press publish and test it out. So we're gonna click view site right here. And then once we're viewing the site, again, I already added a little link right here that links to the light box. So if I click log in, it should prompt, whoops, it should prompt the light box. Yep, prompt the light box. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out of here so I make sure I'm completely out so you guys can see how this works. So I completely logged out of the site. I'm gonna click the login. And now I'm gonna use the same details that I used to register, but now to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead, type my email out. And then I'm going to enter my password. And I'm gonna click log in. And there we go. We are redirected to the my account page, just as I set in the code forward slash account, forward slash my dash account. And that's where it directed me. From this point, we now have the ability to edit our personal my account info or update our profile. And what we can do after that is we could even add a button that can say, take me to my profile or back to profile that will take them to the unique profile page like we built out, not last video, not yesterday's, but last week's video. And that's where they can access their profile and they could access, you know, their, their feed and access their um, public like preview information, their profile picture, background, all that good stuff, their handle. But this is the back end. So this directs them right to the back end. And I wanted to make sure I showed you how to add that. I know that was a very big question at hand. And I hope, I hope this video answered it. If it did, drop a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions and comment what features you would like to see in this social network series over the next now 10 days. So that way I can make sure I curate some of the content to hit some of those immediate needs all of you have because that's important to me. Again, this is my gift to you, the 12 days of Christmas, building a social network in Wix, 12 new parts for you to utilize this December. I hope you love it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hit that subscribe button right down below and turn the bell notifications on so you do not miss any of these uploads over the next couple of days, especially since they're coming out right back to back to back. Sometimes YouTube's algorithm doesn't throw it in your subscription box right away. So I want to make sure you've got them and you don't miss the episode. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification on next to it. Last but not least, head over to wixtrainacademy.com. This is where you can access that login code. So click Academy. If you're brand new and you haven't signed up already, it's completely free. Again, that's where you access the code. And then obviously log in if you are a current member and you can access the code under that My Code Snippets tab as you guys have done before. Guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful. I look forward to coming back at you tomorrow with our third episode of building a social network in Wix in the 12 days of Christmas. Again, this was part 11, but tomorrow will be part three of the 12 days of Christmas, physically part 12 in the series. If you haven't seen the rest of the series videos, click the Building a Social Network in uh, Wix playlist right now as it's on the screen as we're finishing this video. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you tomorrow.